do that. Okay, so what it, the geometry shows about the heart is that it's not pumping the blood. The blood is pumping the heart. The blood is moving the heart and the heart is slowing it down. And what does it do? Then it reverses itself and goes in the opposite direction so it can get out quick. It comes in quick and it gets out quick. And so the, without the heart, the blood would just be unbelievably fast and probably just explode. What we're trying to do is the heart is trying to slow this blood down. So I don't know if that answers it, but, but it's, not, it's not a pumping thing, you know. And I'll just tell you one more thing. The reason I know, one of the reasons I know that is because the left ventricle, the right ventricle, it's kind of indented. It has two valves. So if something happens to those two valves, and it does, you know, to people, and sometimes those two valves have to be removed. Two valves move, and yet the blood still goes to the lungs. So you show me a pump that will work without valves. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. She's asking if there's a heartbeat. Is that the heartbeat of the earth? Yes. There's a heart in the earth. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that what, there's a heart in us and there's also a heart underneath our feet. And it has the same principle in the, in the earth as it does in us. Okay? And it only makes sense that the heart isn't, the heart, the heart and the earth isn't dead. They're alive. This, this earth is alive. And the energy that's coming from the solar wind, okay, is part of that. And that's part of the unseen. You see, the aurora is running 24 hours a day. But in the day, you can't see it, but it's still doing its thing. It's still breathing in and out, breathing in and out. But at night, we can see it. Because we can't see in the daytime, most everything is not there. The unseen must be seen. <laughs> yes, the heart is in the earth, and it is breathing. Any other? Everybody today is concerned with clean water. They want to clean the water. It's polluted. So they have all kinds of ways of doing that. They use electricity, there's ways of doing that, there's aerations and microorganisms and all that kind of stuff. This isn't about that. This isn't about cleaning water. This is about bringing vitality in cleaned water. Because cleaned water is suffering. It's been, it's, has a form of destruction in it, even though it's been cleaned. We have to bring back the life force into the water again, and that's what this does. And there's not another research area like that anywhere in the world. Everybody's about cleaning, not about vitality. So, what I do, I take um, the vortex and in, the, in the sphere with this device, then I pour um, a substance into the mixture. And my idea is to find out how long that substance stays in suspension. And the longer it stays in suspension means that there are more life forces that are centered around levity. Because that's what the heart is all about, is levity. All right, so I would take the different substances and use the different kind of mixers in the world. And I would test that by running a light through the substance and putting a photoelectric cell on one side and measuring the amount of light that gets through each hour. Then I'll know how long it stays in suspension compared to other control groups. That's body is a conduit with vortexes running through it. Um, I sense that there are energy flows that come from above and come from below from the heavens and from the earth, and I sense that the body moves those energies. And I'm wondering if there are vortexes related to what you're talking about that actually move through the entire human being. Absolutely. Yes. I, I, I mean, that's what this, listen, everything comes into earth from in vortexes. The flowers, the plants, the, the, the animals, us. Okay, if you look at a baby's head, and when the hair starts growing pretty big, there's a spiral, okay, in the head, that's a vortex, okay, that's coming in and being shown in the baby's head. 
Even what direction it is. And the fontanelle. Yeah. That's, it, it grows shut later. So it goes to show you. It goes to show you. <laughs>
the blue outline of the it feels really good, huh, Bill? The, uh, I can feel it the, right uh, away. Oh, the back. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, you have so good. It's, uh, it's the shape of the bent pyramid. Yeah. There's a bent pyramid yeah. in, in Egypt that's the shape yeah. of that. Oh, really? And they're saying that that was a... Uh, now it's freaking out. A healing oh, pyramid. <laughs> The, the old guy, the, the, the indigenous person that would live there, he's deceased now. So it was a, it was a uh, healing here. No kidding. Yeah. Huh. Interesting, huh? Yeah. If you watch this, what will happen? This will hypnotize you almost. Yeah. And you watch it, and all of a sudden they look like they're going in the opposite direction. I don't know if that happened to you yet. Yeah. But yeah. you'll think, wait a minute, he's got that going the wrong way. Oh no. no. Right. Right. Is that amazing? Isn't that beautiful in there? Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that something? Even the rubber band. Come on, I'm going to get your picture. Yeah. Just put your camera. Yeah.